Dr. Rabani, I would like to talk about contact uh, lenses, and there are obviously so many contact lenses out there, um, uh, different ones, like some you can wear them a week or two, or God only knows how long, some you can wear them a day, some are hours, uh, some a few days, uh, uh, I don't know about hours, but anyway, they're, they're different like overnight, not overnight, over week, um, it, 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 overall, besides of, of the... Uh, desire of the patient of what's good or better for him. Are there any advantages, disadvantages in either one of those categories of lenses? Uh, there's a tremendous uh, amount of advantages in some of those lenses. The, the hottest lens on the market right now is something called a hyd- uh, uh, silicone lens. And the uh, hydric- uh, silicone lenses breathe oxygen better than any other lens that's out there at that point. Uh, oxygen, like I said, is what keeps the cornea healthy, uh, allows it to stay clear and crisp vision. Uh, so any lens that can breathe oxygen better is going to be better off for you. Uh, there are lenses that you can sleep in. There's lenses that you don't sleep in. Uh, don't sleep in them. They're called daily wear. You wear them during the day. You don't wear them at night. The extended wear lenses are the ones that you can wear during the night and you can sleep in them. Don't really like sleeping in contact lenses. Uh, you know, if you've had a real dirty day where you're out mudding with cars and racetracks and stuff and it gets in your eye and you leave the contact lens in there, it doesn't give the eye a chance to kind of recoup at that particular point. Uh, probably the uh, healthiest contact lens on the market is are the daily lenses. And those are a daily disposable lens where you put it on one day, throw it away at the end of the day, and every day you put on a fresh set of contact lenses. Uh, one might think that that's a little bit more expensive than the other contact lenses, but when you start factoring in the cost of all the solution and the care that you've got to do to take care of all those other lenses, all you're doing is transferring the cost of all the uh, lubricating drops, the disinfecting job uh, drops, or the disinfecting solutions into the price of what the contact lenses would be. So the healthiest lens on the market would be the daily contact lenses. Uh, next best, as far as I'm uh, concerned, are the sil- uh, silicone hydrogel lenses because they breathe oxygen uh, a thousandfold better. And wow. health of the eye is the number one uh, goal. Right. So the silicone oxygen, the ones which breathe so wonderful, um don't they come in daily disposable also, or what? They no, they come in every modality. They come in daily disposable. They come in two week disposable. They come in one month disposable. And you can sleep and you can sleep in those lenses also. Right. So what you're telling me is the one the, the what's the name again of that or the the, the category silicone uh, silicone hydrogels. Si- silicon hydrogels, you know. So they all, mm-hmm. obviously have a lots of uh, okay, good. So silicon hydrogels. Daily disposable, every time start a new one, would, based on what you're telling me, be obviously the very best one. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Are they also the most absolutely. expensive one? Uh, again, when you, when you factor in the expense of contact lenses, you have to not only include the price of the contact lenses, but all the solutions that you have to buy and all the cases no, that you have I, to I buy. But to like a silicon hydrogel one, is that a more expensive one than the other one? They're gonna be, they're gonna be a little bit. They're usually they're about five to ten dollars more expensive. So they're gonna be a little bit more expensive, but not grossly ex- more expensive. Five to ten bucks per month per day. Uh, per box of whatever they come in. Okay. And they come in, uh, like I said, they come in boxes of six, boxes of four, boxes of thirty, boxes of ninety. So uh, relatively speaking, they're gonna be a little bit more expensive than if they weren't silicone hydrogels but five or ten dollars more per box at that particular point. It's not going to be a big difference between them. But the health advantages to going to the silicone hydrogels far outweigh that little five or ten dollar expense at that point. I see. Got to talk to my wife about it. Um, Not so sure that's the one she's using. Um, And uh, you know, take care of mama. She's she's definitely a you know very good discipline in 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 taking care and 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 doing what she does. In fact, she every time she takes out her lenses at night, um, and I'm not so sure where she puts brand new ones in or other ones uh, or the old ones again. I do do have her seen having solutions, and I do have her uh, seen uh, other ones. We travel a lot, so I think she depends on what she does. She uses different uh, methodologies, uh, but one thing she does is. She uh, flushes her eyes with an eye glass. You know, it's kind of an over little thing. 
She holds mm-hmm. it to it, and she does two of them. And she has a, it's kind of a, um, it's 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 water or whatever, and it has um, cayenne pepper in it, so it stinks a little bit. Um, whoa. Whoa. Yes. I mean, I can get water in it, and she does that already for a couple of years. She's not so sure whether it really does anything good. She had. She was a, a glass wearing uh, girls from from birth, from whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, but um, anyway, that's just, you know. Apparently, the, the idea behind is that the cayenne pepper uh, stimulates uh, uh, circulation, uh, and um, and as if it's pre mixed, so you know you can't like you, you're not like overdoing it to to, to kill yourself. Do you understand? Uh, whoever produces exactly, it, uh, exactly. Well, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say right now, I've not heard of any uh, ocular solution that has cayenne pepper in it. I'm going to have to look that one up. But anytime you put pepper in the eye, it's going to burn. I don't care who you are. That's what pepper spray is designed to do is stop you in your tracks. <laughs> so if you're putting cayenne pepper in your tracks, you better be you better be knowing what you're doing at that point. But I'm going to look into that because I've not heard of any solutions that have cayenne pepper in there. But obviously, it would certainly stimulate the uh, the tear flow to wash out. And the purpose for any kind of eye wash solution with those little eye cups is to kind of wash out the eye because a lot of things. Uh, from the day, dirt, grit, sand, whatever is going to get trapped underneath the top lid and the bottom lid and can interfere with the wearing of the contact lenses. Uh, usually what I have my patients do if they have a lot of irritations is use an eye wash with that little eye cup at least once a week just to kind of wash the eye out, just to kind of get any kind of uh, uh, foreign substance that may be trapped up underneath the top lid or the bottom lid. Get that out of the eye so it doesn't interfere with the quality of wearing the contact lenses. But I'm going to have to look into that cayenne pepper thing, man, because well, there might be a I'm few glad. people I want to do that to. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I, 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 I mentioned it not for the cayenne pepper thing and for you to check out the things, but I do, by, by doing so, finding out that uh, doing an eye wash uh, every so often is a good thing, whether you wear glasses, lenses oh, or not, right, I assume. I don't know. Exa- exactly. Uh, again, uh, for my allergy patients who don't wear contact lenses, it's highly recommended that they go ahead and rinse their eye out with a good eye wash or a sterile eye wash uh, at least once a week to kind of get all the pollen and any uh, source of irritants out of the eye that can create an issue at that point. Oh, yeah, it's a very good thing to do. And are there, besides the one my wife uses with cayenne pepper in it, are there eye washes out there to purchase, or is it just plain water you take, or is plain water better than nothing? Uh, Shed some light on that. Now, uh, a sterile eye wash is a buffered isotonic solution and should not burn when you put it in your eye. Uh, and the purpose for that is to uh, most of the eye washes that are out there have the chemical consistency of the tears, uh, which makes it a natural sort of thing to do for rinsing your eye out. It's just like you're squirting more tears in your eye to kind of rinse out whatever is in there at that particular point in time. So a buffered isotonic uh, eye, sterile eye wash is probably recommended over a uh, solution that has cayenne pepper in it. Okay. And uh, if you have none of it, pure water, nice, good, oh, clean yeah. water. Yeah, I mean, if you if you get something in your eye and you have no, no other options available to you, getting it rinsed out with just tap water or uh, 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 lake water or something just to, get, to rinse it out of your eye, to get whatever's in there bothering your eye, yeah, I mean, that's perfectly legit to go ahead and do something like that. I wouldn't do it if you had those other options available to you, but if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you get something in your eye, rinsing it out with whatever, uh, flushing it out with whatever solution you got is going to be the thing to do. Just make sure it's not an acid or a, uh, something that's going to kind of burn your eye at that point. Read the label. Read the label. Okay. Good. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dr. Clayton. You're very welcome. <laughs> I gotta look up that pep. I gotta look up that pepper thing, man. I, just, I haven't heard that one. 